hate your ex-boyfriend David so much? Because he was cheating on me um, when I was doing pre my pregnancy. Mm -hmm. and he had sex with my ex girlfriend, and then now he kidnapped this, my baby for two um, for almost seven days, and the baby was two months. And then when I came home from burying my mother, I hadn't watched my apartment, and who's in the house with him? My best girlfriend in my bed. Uh, oh, that wait, that was a lot. That was a lot in a row. Now, first of all, you said he slept with your best girlfriend. Yes. And you caught the two of them together? Yes, I did. In your bed? Yes. And then he cheated on you while you were pregnant, right? Yes. And once you had the baby, he kidnapped the baby? Yes, he did. How must it, how, I can't imagine. How long was your baby gone for? Seven days. How did that feel? I mean, I can't imagine your baby gone for seven days. What did you go through? I was crying and called mm -hmm. the cops and everything. Then um, someone happened to see him. And he called me, said he's going to bring the baby back home, which he didn't. Then um, I had me walk and I had to see him and stuff. And um, let me just say now. Take oh, your I thought time. I just see him mm -hmm. with the, with, in the Jeep with the baby and stuff like, where you been? Miss Nancy just get in the car. So I got in the car and he gave back the baby. Well, I'd like to hear what David has to say about all this, wouldn't we? David, come on out. Now, let's give David an opportunity to explain himself. Hello, David. Thank you very much for joining us today. David, yeah. I'm over here. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing? sorry, I'm sorry. Now, <laughs> she says to me that you kidnapped your son. Is that true? Yeah. Why would you kidnap your own son? One, she has a very uh, nosy uh, family. Her mother was constantly in our business. If I brung something over for her doing, throughout the pregnancy, I had to bring it for her mother or else I couldn't see her. And it was kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. So uh, before the baby was born, she had came to my house and we was having a conversation with each other. Her water had broke. I never knew anything about a woman having a baby. Mm -hmm. So she had left. I didn't find out my son was born until three days later. Uh, and so what? He wasn't what, nowhere what, to what be found. You? I'm sorry, go ahead. What was you? He wasn't where to be found. He wasn't even you come to the delivery room. Kim, you lying. <laughs> you just not a lie. No, you was not. You was nowhere to be found. She's too busy no, with your she, friends. She, she no you lie. admit that you kidnapped your child, though. Why did you feel the need to kidnap? <laughs> well, because of the fact I couldn't see him when I wanted to. It was, well, if we can't get our relationship together, is what she was telling me, I couldn't see my son. Mm -hmm. And I refused to let her use him as a scapegoat, so I took him from him. Don't you realize the pain that you most likely put her through when she did not know where her child was? I didn't care what she was going through. Because didn't evidently care. she didn't care what I was going through. If you don't know anything about having babies, water breaking, seven days taking care of it, how did you think you were going to be able to do that? My grandmother took care of the baby. Great fathering. Like, that's not fathering. That's not even parenting. If you have any kind of responsibility, you need to work with her on it, don't you? I was there with That's my the son. That's the point of this. Why can't we need everybody to work together? Because it seems like the children are caught in the middle of all this. Am I right, audience? Call yeah. what they want to call. David, don't you all feel as if you all need to overcome your differences for the better of your child? At this point, no. We're hearing stories about a father who ignores his child, kidnaps, and abuses. You're all wrong, and the children should be taken away from all of you. You're no kind of fathers. No father at all is better than this. Get out of here. Get your kids and go. First of all, excuse but me. But David, no, excuse I want to hear no. you. Go ahead, Frankie. The children should be with the mothers. That's right. The children That's should be right. with the mothers, not the fathers. They're, get the fathers out of there. Get your That's kids right. away from them. And you said it right. Excuse David, I want to hear your side of the story to be a daddy. Oh, what are we booing about? First of all, I feel like this. I've been the best father that any man could possibly be to his child, and she can tell you that. As far as you saying someone should take my child away, listen, I'm going to do what I have to do to, in order to see my child. I don't but care if I have to take him again. I don't, I don't care if I have to take him again. I'm going to do what I have to do. But David, you're putting your child in a very hostile environment when you're aggravating the mother, and you sleep with her best girlfriend, let her catch you in her bed. Well, she didn't tell you what led up to that, did Please she? Please tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. 